What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. And the field didn't even start yet. Y'all don't realize the ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Make sure y'all drink water, man. Please, please drink water, y'all. Drink water. It's hot as hell in Florida. <laughs> it was like 100 and damn 10 degrees out here yesterday. Um, anyway, yeah, man. Uh, of course, y'all see the, the 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 title. You see the caption right here. Uh, three reasons why black men project hatred uh, onto black women. I got a pen here, man, because y'all know I, I, I like to I like to take notes when I when I uh, have these types of videos being thrown on my lap. Right. Um, but let, let's let's get into it, man, because I, I have I have a lot of things to uh, to talk about, man. These are the types of people, honestly, um, that speaks from a place of hurt, uh, that speaks from a place of, uh, you know, sometimes it's abuse, whether it's physical, whether it's mental, whether it's, you know, sexual, you know, it, it is it is what it is. And the only thing that I, I would say or offer to people that have these types of um, uh, mindsets is definitely to seek help, get therapy get therapy because it doesn't say three reasons why some black men project hatred onto black women it doesn't say three reasons why the black men i know project hatred onto black women it doesn't say it doesn't say anything like that it just says black women, black men period in general or in totality or 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 majority so let, let's let's get into it, man. Um, I think this video is only about a minute, a minute long. What I'm going to do, man, because again, like, like I said, I, I was I was already here take, taking my notes and stuff like that. Um, we're going to break it down into segments, number one, and then towards the end of the video, I'll play the whole thing in its entirety, um, and, and then we'll just go from there. But let let's let's get into it. Why are straight black men so comfortable with dragging black women? I'll give you three reasons why. Reason number one is because he witnessed his mama get disrespected and cheated on by his daddy. And he normalized that behavior and grew up assuming that all black women will tolerate that same disrespect that he witnessed his mama tolerate. Reason you know, and, and I'll put myself into this one. Me growing up, I seen my, you know, my mom and my dad arguing, fighting, whatever the case may be. Um, and not just with my, my mom and dad, my mom and whatever other guy that she was dating, my aunties and whatever guy that they were dating, my grandmother and whatever guy that she was dating or, or at, at the time, whatever the case may be, my friends, you know, uh, my personal relationships. And I never had that type of mindset. You know what type of mindset I had, ma'am? The mindset that I had was I will never treat the woman that I'm in love with like that. The woman that I'm dating, I will never do that. I will never cheat on them. I will never have an outside baby on them. I will never be out here giving money to random ass females except my chick. That's the mindset that I had. And I would imagine a lot of other black men had the same type of mentality too. Because you'll grow up, right? You'll grow up seeing the type of nonsense and bs that your mother went through right and you'll see the hurt you'll see the pain you'll see all that and you associate yourself with that and you'll say hey, yo listen i don't want to do this to any other woman and that's the reason why i've always acted accordingly with every chick that i've messed with as far as being you know you know not 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 you know, too argumentative or anything like, you know, everybody know me in real life. No, I, bro, I'm not about to argue with you, bro. Like, I'm gonna say what I say, you say what you say, then that's it. You know, and, and, and you know what I mean? But, um, I, I just, I just always had that mentality, that mindset that I'm going to treat women, the women in my life, whether it's family, friends, you know, chicks that I'm sleeping with, um, I'm going to, I'm going to treat you the same way I will want my mom or my sisters or my cousins or my whoever whoever women that's close in, around me i'm going to treat them the same way i would want them to be treated so just off point one alone it's 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 cap already but let's let's go to part two reason number two he's on the down low and he's frustrated because he can't come out the closet therefore he's envious and jealous of beautiful successful black women who walk around in their truth they walk around in their power they glow they have an aura about them and he envies that he really wants to be a sis 
and he's jealous of the attention you get from men. He wants that same attention. So he will take his anger and frustrations out on successful, beautiful black women, even get into relationships with black women just to destroy them because he's envious that he can't come out the closet and live in his truth. Re and yes, of course, obviously I've seen this video before, right? I told you I, I, I was, I was, I was writing my notes when, while, while, while she was talking and stuff like that. Um, when the first time I saw the title of this video, the first thing that popped in my mind is what type of shame attack is she going to use? And then when I heard her reason, her second reasoning as to why uh, black men project hatred onto women, I said, a black woman, I said, I knew it. I knew it was coming. Honestly, I thought this would be number one. This is nothing but typical shame tactics, y'all. Typical shame tactics. Oh, you must be weak. You must be gay. You must be this. You must be that. So she says, men is on the down low. That's why he projects hatred on, onto, onto black women. Uh, he's mad that he can't come out the closet, right? He's stuck in the closet. He can't come out. He, he mad. Bro, first of all, it's 2023. People getting praise for coming out of the closet nowadays. So I don't know how that's how that's even uh, a, a thing right now. But, you know, whatever. Uh, she also said that he was uh, envious and jealous of, quote, unquote, beautiful black women, right? He wants to be her so bad. So he, he takes his anger out on black women. These are the type of people that, that's on TikTok, y'all boys. And girl, ladies too. But y'all boys, these type of women that's on TikTok spreading this 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 nonsense. But let them tell let Kevin Samuels what's the problem. Now, is there a chance that um because we we all we all know that that people people like what they like, you know, the whole love is love thing. I wish you the best, figure it out, whatever, right? It is what it is. Me personally. You know what? No, I'm not. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna say. It. I'll, I'll save that's what's the end of the video. I, I, I'll save what's the end. Let, let's get to part three so we, we can hurry up, and then we'll rewatch it, and then I'll say everything I wanted to say. Let, let's go. Season three, he's angry because he's not on the same level as the white man. Therefore, he feels powerless, and he will punish the black woman for it. Technically, another shaming tactic. So, um, he's not on the same level as white men. Um, he feels powerless, and as a result of that, he punishes the black woman. As a result, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the whole thing back so we can play it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's only like a minute. Let me see. Let me see what it says. Yeah, it's a minute and three seconds. So we're going to play the whole thing in its entirety, and then I'm going to say everything that I need to say. Um, as far as my thoughts and you know, and all, all the other stuff on, on black men, quote unquote, projecting hatred and, and all that stuff. So let's go. Why are straight black men so comfortable with dragging black women? I'll give you three reasons why. Reason number one is because he witnessed his mama get disrespected and cheated on by his daddy. And he normalized that behavior and grew up assuming that all black women will tolerate that same disrespect that he witnessed his mama tolerate. Reason number two, he's on the down low and he's frustrated because he can't come out the closet. Therefore, he's envious and jealous of beautiful, successful black women who walk around in their truth. They walk around in their power. They glow. They have an aura about them. And he envies that. He really wants to be a sis. And he's jealous of the attention you get from men. He wants that same attention. So he will take his anger and frustrations out on successful, beautiful black women, even get into relationships with black women just to destroy them because he's envious that he can't come out the closet and live in his truth. Reason three, he's angry because he's not on the same level as the white man. Therefore, he feels powerless and he will punish the black woman for it. Now, who walk around, you know. Reasons why black men project hatred onto black women. Um, me personally, I I haven't really seen something like that per se. I, like first of all, I would need to know what her definition of of hatred is because her definition of hatred can be a damn man cheating on a woman. Her hatred can be a man not you know financially supporting. A woman i i don't i don't know what her definition of hatred is so i'm just go with the generic version of hatred like right 
Um, and if that's the case, I haven't personally seen something like that uh, per se in my life. I've seen stuff like that online. Yeah, sure. Um, but I've never seen something like that in person. I've seen black men cheat on black women. Yeah, but that's not a form of hatred. I've seen black women, uh, you know, financially neglect their women and or children. That doesn't mean that they they it's it's, it's hatred either. Um, what the things that I've seen online, for example, right? Um, Fresh and Fit podcast, perfect example. That is a form of projecting hatred. Number one, I mean, even though Myron technically isn't black, I think I believe he's a uh, I believe he's Middle Eastern, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, Fresh, I believe, is he's from Barbados, if I'm not mistaken. So he's technically black. Yes. Um, that's a form of hatred. The things that they say, the things that, that spews out their mouth, uh, is disgusting. And I have denounced them many times. I've unsubscribed uh, from their channel, but they haven't only said things about black women. They've said the negative things about black men in its totality too. And you know, coming back full circle, what I was saying uh, a while back, like I want to say six months, if not more, when I was saying about Fresh and Fit, I unsubscribed from them because of the things that they said about the Haitian community. And I said, yo, listen, I can't, I can't. I, I I can't even support y'all no more, bro. And after that, I unsubscribed, and I've never subscribed since. Majority of the things that I watch from their channel is when my subscribers send things to me, and out of respect to the subscriber that took the time out their day to send me something, I will watch that snippet. And then, if possible, if it applies or whatever, or if it's good enough or the title, I like it. Uh, I'll do a reaction to it, sure. But in uh, you know, all in all, I I don't really care. I don't support them because that is a form of uh. Project, projecting hatred onto black women. These guys, these dudes literally say, "Oh yeah, I'm not down with the brown. No, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't date dark, I don't date night chicks and uh, like just disrespectful things that they were saying towards black women. That's a form of hatred. And they said a lot worse things. I'm not going to repeat because I'm not trying to get flagged. Um, but yes, that is a form of hatred. Um, I can think of a million other things, of course, but for the sake of time, I'll try to make sure I, I try to wrap this up quick. Um, as far as her three, her three reasonings, right? What I would say is, ladies, first of all, I don't I don't agree with a lot of the things that she said. She could have came up with anything better than this. The first one she was talking about, um, we as black men hate black women or project hatred to black women because we grew up seeing our dad um, treating our mom wrong. And again, what is your definition of seeing your dad doing something wrong? My definition of seeing that would be um, not finishing what you started. I think that that was wrong. What do you mean by that? Not finish what you started, meaning you created this family and you need you should have stayed to finish it. I understand that you guys had your back and forth, you had this, that, and third, but you as the adult or you as a father, as a man, should have tried to find common ground. Obviously, guys, I've had this conversation with mom and dad already before. You know, they're 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 cool now. Like they, they'll sit there, take pictures together, talk to each other, all the other crap, right? Uh they're cool now, but back then they weren't. Um with, with, with that, with that being said, again, fellas, you know, in my opinion, the way I view my dad, you should have did something as far as trying to make it work. Sometimes it gets to a point where she's like, "Yo, bro, I can't do it no more." Whatever, whatever, whatever. Y'all know it's it's her side, it's his side, and then the truth. So I had to kind of comb through the, the through the nonsense to try to find the truth, and it just got to a point where I was like, "Yo, you know what? I'm I don't even care knowing. You know, whatever happened, happened. It is what it is. They didn't work out. He moved on. She moved on. It is what it is. Oh well." Um, so I thoroughly disagree with what she was saying as far as, oh, well, men do it because, um, you know, he grew up with, no, I grew up seeing the, the nonsense and the BS of the relationships that, that my mom went through and my homegirls, my cousins, my, the, the women in my family went through. And I said to myself immediately, I don't want to do that to the woman that I'm in a relationship with. And to this day, I've never done that to any of the women that I've dated, any of my exes. I say this a million times, y'all. My exes can call me a million things. And the one thing they can never call me is a cheater, like a liar, an abuser. Um, you know what I mean? Being stingy with my money. No, bro, I would damn run out and buy. I had $10 on my bank account. I would spend that $10 on you and make sure that you ate today. And I didn't even eat today. That's the type of person I am and have always been in a relationship. And I will continue to be. Because that's me. So for her to say something like that, oh, black men do that because they witnessed um, 
they they witness their dad doing it and uh hold on, witness dad treating uh you know their their mom wrong and thought it was okay to treat black women that way since since his dad did it. Bro, that's 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 nonsense, that's BS, that's cat. The second thing I don't even care to speak on, honestly, man, because she was talking about him being on the down low. I mean, yes, there, there's men and women that's on the down low because of whatever reason. Honestly, I don't understand why, but you know, that's not my place to speak on it. They are on a download because that's what they want to do. They, whenever they feel comfortable doing it, they will come out the closet. But that's not a reason why they project hatred onto black women. If anything, ah, hell, damn, men that's on the download probably love you guys more <laughs> because they feel more associated with you or feel like they, they understand you more more than uh they, they understand the the straight men, which is the reason why you see a lot of gay men hanging out with with them women, black women in particular, but uh women in particular. Majority of of gay men's friends, majority of the time, be women. Majority of the time, it be women. So now you're trying to say that it it just it's just stupid to me. The third reason, let, let me move on because we already pressed for time. And I didn't even, I didn't want this video to go on this long. Uh, third reason, he's not he's not on the same level as white men. Feels powerless and will punish black women. Um, as a result, I mean, again, it's it's just. I, it's it's stupid, you guys. Listen, I, I I you know I've been in like the management role for a while now. I've I've managed um uh, you know black men, white men, his, uh, Hispanic men, uh black women, white women, Hispanic women, and stuff like that. I've never felt um like I wasn't quote unquote on the same level as white men, and even if it was a millionaire, I will still feel like I'm just as good or or or, or feel like I'm just as strong as he is. Because that's my mindset. That's my mentality. I'm not going to sit here and feel less than just because you're a millionaire or a billionaire. No, I'm still happy and I'm comfortable with the skin that I'm in. And I'm happy with the things that, that I do have. It may not be a lot to the millionaire or the billionaire, but to me, it's a lot. Why? Because I know who I was and where I grew up. Oh, this, this, is, this is like, yeah, I'm on top of the world right now. I'm on top of the world right now. And that's a fact. So all in all, again, spiritual whistleblower, I, I think a lot of the things that she said was nonsense and BS, um, circling back to what I said at the beginning of this video, um, a lot of people speak from a place of hurt. And I believe she's been hurt by a black man. And if she's never been hurt by a black man, she's probably surrounding herself and, you, you know, seeing and watching a lot of black men promote, uh, project hatred onto black women. And if that's the case, then that's your fault for watching that and allowing those types of things to be in your algorithms because you can control your algorithms, y'all. You can control them. So either way, she's in the wrong. <laughs> either way. You know what I mean? But, um, I mean, wow, maybe y'all think differently, man. I want y'all to comment down below and let me know what y'all thought about this video. But it was a great video, man. Honestly, I did not think, I mean, we had like 15, 16, 17 minutes now. I did not think this video was going to go on this long. Um, I want you to comment down below and let me know what you thought about this video, man. Great, 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 great video. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't, hit that subscribe button, man. Also, too, hit that bell so more out. Anytime you upload a notification, I'll pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like. Make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So, until next time, please, man, y'all be separate,